Hey South Florida, I am Alexis Millard. You're tuning in to another real estate tip here on the Oasis. Today's tip was actually requested by a loyal subscriber. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Today's tip is actually gonna be a multiple partner. We're gonna talk about how you get your license and what is a broker. So in order to get your license, you need three things, a driver's license, a social, and a high school diploma or a GED. Once you have all three of those things, the next step would be for you to go to the Department of Business and Professional Regulations website and apply for a license. Once you have done that, go ahead and start getting fingerprinted. There are multiple fingerprinting companies out here, but I recommend you get your fingerprinting done at the same location as you're gonna be testing. After that, you wanna find where you're gonna take your real estate class. You do have to go through a 63 hour class in order for you to get your license. Now, 63 hours sounds like a long time, but in all actuality, it's only a week, Monday to Sunday. My professor did it Monday to Sunday, 9 to 6 p.m. And on Sunday, we took our, our class test. And I was able to pass that and take my test the following two days. And that's another thing that I recommend already schedule your test from the day you know that your class will end however schedule it at least a week out and keep calling your testing center to see if they have any dates closer to the time where your class ends you want to make sure you take it the tuesday immediately after your class ends that is because all the information is fresh on your mind and you won't have to do as much cramming as you would if you were to take your, your class weeks later. So again, take your test two days after your class ends. And here's another tip. You also wanna take your exam at 8 a.m. Supposedly, that's the easiest time to take your exam. I know because I took my class, my test, I should say, on a Tuesday at 8 p.m. right after my class ended and I was able to pass on the first try. Now that's not to say you don't have to study. Studying is always important. The next question I'll be addressing in this video is what is a broker? In real estate, there are two different licenses that you can obtain, a sales associate license and a broker's license. In order to obtain a broker's license, you must have had your sales associate license for two years. After you've had your sales associate license for two years and you've already completed your com continuing education, you then can take a class and a test in order to elevate your license to a broker's license. Once you go to a broker's license, your sales associate license becomes non-existent. You cannot have two licenses at the same time. Once you become a broker, you are then allowed to have other sales associates or other broker associates underneath you. So your broker will then in turn be your, like your advisor. We can't say manager because you are the manager owner of your own business. Your broker just oversees and guides you on contracts, clients, what to do, commissions, things of that nature. For tips on what you should do after you find a broker to get yourself ready in real estate, don't hesitate to email me or give me a thumbs up on this video to let me know that that's the video you want to see next. As always, I'm Alexis Millard. This has been another real estate tip on Alexis's Oasis. If you like my tips, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Help me get to a thousand subscribers so I can give you more videos.